students today we will see something called as patterns see when we talk about different languages you have c you have c++ you have java you know when you learn these languages the one thing which comes constantly is something called as patterns now see when we talk about this pattern you know let's suppose you have lots of star here you know you, if you want to print this you can do this if you if you know c language or if you know java language you can print each of this line using a statement called as system dot out dot print. You know when when you write system dot out dot print with star 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 it will print a uh, one line. Then you have to again print this star star star. Then you have to again print this star star star. You know if I want to print one star at a time, that means I have a statement. Am I? It's system dot out dot print in which only one star is allowed. Now question arises how to do it. See what you can do. You can write one statement for this star. You can write the second statement for this star. You can write the third statement for this star. Fourth for this. Then you have to write a print ln line. Where you we have to write print ln because you want to come on the next line. So here when you again print again you have to write print to print this star. You have to uh, print this one. You have to print this one. You have to print this one. You know you are doing the same thing repeatedly. So what we can do is we can apply some uh, loops here. Now question is how? See here we are working. We are doing two things. First, we are printing each star. Second, after every four star, I am coming on the new line. After every four star, I am coming on the new line. That means I am doing two things repeatedly. One is printing star. Second, coming on the new line after four star. You know you can do this by using loops now question is how see before starting with loops whenever we talk about loop loop you know you have different type of loop you have while loop you have for loop you have do while loop the best loop when you when you do, when you know the number of uh, number of things you want to print or number of iterations so you should go for for loop so when you know the starting point when you know the ending point you should always go for for loops so here we require for loop to do th two things one thing for one for loop for one thing, second for loop for second second thing. Now, before starting with this, you require two variables: one for first for loop, second for second for loop. So let's suppose you have something called as row counter. You have column counter. So to count the number of rows, let's suppose my variable is i. To count the number of columns, my variable is j. So what we can do is we can write up code. It's four. Your i starts with one. I ends one, two, three, four. That means it should end at four. Then it's i plus plus. Now, if you concentrate in each row, you have to print four four stars. That means to print a star, we require a second for loop. So we have j equal to one, j less than equal to four. And J plus plus the four because we have we have to print four stars. Then here what we have to do we have to write a statement called as system dot out dot print. Mind you, it will be only print. Then here my star. Curly bracket open close and curly bracket close. What it will do is it will print this column. In line wise, let's suppose your i is one, j is one, it will print star. J is two, star. J is three, star. When j is go to four, it will check yes, four is four, star. But when j becomes five, it will check is it satisfying? It's false. That means it will not print. It will come out the loop and it will increment your i by two. If I'm incre incrementing my row, that means I'm I, now I'm on second row. That means I have to come on new line. So after every your uh, ending of inner close inner loop, you have to you have to print a new line. So it's system dot out dot print. You can go for it this way: print slash n to come on new line. You know you can use slash n because slash n means you have to come on new line. The second way what you can do is Java provides a function called as print ln. Using this print ln, you can directly come on new line without printing anything. So once you came here, you have to print. You have to print new line. So when you say print ln, it will directly come to the new line. 
and this is your a normal form, normal uh, loop. By using this, you can print this pattern. So it, it's damn easy. Let's change the question. Let us just uh, make a new pattern in this way. This time I want to print uh, stars in triangle format. If you concentrate on this pattern, you have four rows. So no issue, we, we, are, we start with I, we end at four. But the question is, when my row number is one, I have to print only one star. My row number is two, I have to print two star. When my row number is three, I have to print three star. When my row number is four, I want to print four star. That means the number of columns is dependent upon the number of rows. So what I can do is, if my number of columns is dependent upon my number of rows, if I write here I, now it will, it will print this. In this way, when, you, when my I is 1, it will check J is 1, yes. 1 is less than or equal to 1, yes, it will print. When my J becomes 2, I is my still 1. So it will not it will not go ahead and it will come to the new line. So you know this is how you, you can do this. Now let's go for a more complex one. Let's suppose if you have, if you again have this pattern. You know, if you have this something in this way. This time, if I if, if I want to print this, again I have to write here 4 as my last question. But what if, if I want to do, if, if I don't want to print this uh, these four uh, stars? I want to print just the borders. So see, I have four rows, so I one to four. I have four columns, so J one to four. But the thing is, I don't want to print when my values are here. So what I have to do? See, so if you concentrate on this this question, this is your first row, second row, third row, fourth row, first column, second column. Third column, fourth column. See, if my i is 1, I have to print. If my i is 4, I have to print. If my j is 1, I have to print. If my j is 4, I have to print. Other than this, I don't have to print. If, if my i is not, if my i is 1, I have to print. If my j i is 4, I have to print. If my i j is 1, I have to print. If my j is 4, I have to print. Other than this, I don't have to print. That means, I have to check before printing. So here I have to check first. When you talk about checking in programming languages, it is if. So if this, you have to do this. If not, you have to do something else. So if this, what you check? If your i is equal to equal to 4, or is your i is equal to equal to 4, or is your j is equal to equal to 1, or is your j is equal to equal to 4. If any of this condition matches, you have to print. You know, when you talk about this or condition, it works in this way. If you have two things, one is true, second is false, it come comes out to be true when you, when you talk about or. That means in both the things, if you have any one true, that means it will give our true conditions. Now, if I get a true condition, what I have to do? I have to print It's SOP, let's imagine this is system.out.print. What I have to do? I have to print star. But now when I run this, your i is 1, j is 1, i is equal to 1, yes, it will print star. So this star is printed. When your i is 1, it will print all the stars. But when your i becomes 2, j becomes 1 here. Here it will check, yes, j is equal to 1, it will print. But when your i becomes 2 and j becomes 2, it will not print. But again when your j becomes 4, i becomes 2, it will print. But what about this space? I have not printed this space. That means when I am not printing the stars, I have to print the spaces. So in this else part, I have to write its SOP, just a normal space. And as usual, after this inner loop, I have to say system dot out dot print ln. So if you do this code, you will get a box like structure. So that means doing working with patterns are damn easy. But the only thing is you have to concentrate on the pattern. You have to judge the number of rows. You have to judge the number of columns. So using loops, using if conditions, you can draw any damn pattern if it is logical. 
If you get uh, illogical patterns, there is no use of working on it. The only condition you have is print, print, print. You know, you can do, you can solve any patterns by your own. So let me give you a question, so you can do a practice on it. Let's suppose you have something of this pattern. Okay, you can try it out by your own. This is your homework. You know, it's 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 again a damn easy. You have number of rows, you have number of columns. You have to print something. What is it? Do it yourself. That's it. 